sit here. Let me give you a lesson in sail trimming. Okay, what you just did is you trimmed the head sail. So what you want to do is you always want to trim your sails from forward to backwards, okay, from bow to stern. So you'll start with your head sail and see that you're happy with it, and you'll go to your main sail, and if you have one at the back, it's called a mizzen, you'll do that too. So you always start with the sail out, and you see it luffing, it's called luffing, mm -hmm. and then you bring it in, bring it in until it looks perfect, and then you tie it. So play with your sails until it looks good, okay? Okay. Good job. Oh! Ow! Whose boat is this? Mine! Mm -hmm. And I love it and so mine. You gonna learn how to sail it? Yep. What are you gonna do when you learn how to sail it? I'm gonna sail it across the world, around the world. When I'm 15, I'm gonna follow mom on the boat. You are? Mm -hmm. That's your plan? I need to clean that. How do you feel about that? Um, scared? I don't know, I feel scared. That. I'll be in a power yacht behind her, having margaritas. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Taking photos. I'm happy about that. If my daughter wants to sail around the world, I'll join her for that. Should we do a, a daddy daughter crew? Or you want to do it alone? Should we all chase each other on our boats? Little Miss will get there first. I'll be drinking Mai Tais waiting for you guys. Magic woman, baby. Magic no, woman. No, not that, that girl. Deal. Little, little Miss, a little pink lightning. I have three sails and a big ass boat. I root for magic. Bigger's not always better. <laughs> That's not what I think. Maiden voyage. Is everybody ready? ready? I'm very confused right now. Where are we sailing to? We're just gonna motor over to get some fuel and some water. So we're going to the Crow's Nest Marina, which is the one that you want to come and see. It's by the Venice Inlet. So that's the blower. Let me give you the glow plug. Right, fire in the hole. It always feels good to take a boat away from where she's been sitting for a long time. So, uh, this is quite tricky, it's very shallow here and we had to wait for the tide to come up. So we have a meeting with the Teak Deck system team which is really exciting at about 1.30 this afternoon. So we're going to try and get the boat over to the dock, put some fuel in it, get some water, show our pretty whites and get out of here. So Bianca just docked the boat almost by herself. Cool. Very proud. Thanks. Proud right. moment. Thank you. feel like a real old... Okay, yeah, there on. you go. How's it going guys? Good, how you doing? Okay guys, we have to make a decision here. We have two options and we're gonna to decide together. Option number one is to do the ICW. The ICW is the intercoastal waterway. So we will leave here at about seven. We will only be on the engine for about 30 miles and then we'll be at a place called Pelican Bay. Okay, we'll anchor there. The other option is, is to go into the ocean. We have favorable winds from the, port, from the starboard side. We'll be on a beam reach. And then we'll sail down for 30 miles, which is going to be easier, not easier, but faster and quicker. And then we can go in. So I'm always more keen to go out on the ocean because I feel like there's less obstacles um, than the ICW. People tend to say the ICW is safer than the ocean, but... Well, it's definitely safer than the ocean, but we're in a sailboat. We have to make a decision. Like, I'm happy to go in the ocean. I'm happy to do the ICW. My instinct says go into the ocean and try and see what the boat can do don't push the hell out of it we're not gonna dump the rails or anything no so what do you want to do so i mean i'm not 100 i'm not 100 percent against it i'm just kind of talking you through my thoughts yeah so we go into the ocean tomorrow and sail the boat and see what she does and see what's wrong with the sails and if something happens we start the engine and we motor and if we're not happy we come back What's the other option? The other option is to leave and go into the in 
intercoastal waterway, in which like is a like a river. river. And we'll just be on the river on engine the whole day till we get there. No sailing. What do you want to do? Sail or putt around like scary sailors? But like is the river is does it, does the river have any waves? No. I think it'd be nice to go in the river. <laughs> uh, champagne and caviar, baby. Okay, how about this? I want everybody to think about it. Okay. Tomorrow in the morning we wake up at first light. I'm going to wake up everybody. I'm going to put the dinghy on the deck, whether we go in the ICW or not. All right. There you have it. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening? Wah! We're trying to get a jug of clean water on the boat. We need some African mussels. I don't know African mussels. I also need a hairstylist. You look like a little African too. <laughs> so please tell me the state of the boat right now. The what? The state of the boat. Shambles! Some shambles! Shambles. <laughs> well, I'm getting the boat ready um, so far. So I've made my bed. You got water. And I got water. And I tied the, the poles up, the rows. The oars. The oars. And then I put all the bags right here, which I'm still working on. And I'm going to put away all the bathroom stuff. Get like Put that stuff away. And I think in the flashlight, and then I think that's it. All right, good morning, you guys. It is a, a great morning because we have a coffee. Co Aubrey made us a nice Colombian blend this morning. You guys saw us last night have a short debate about whether we're going to go into the ocean, whether we're going to go to the ICW. So we're looking at a 30 mile um, motor today up the ICW. We'll probably raise the sails just to see what condition they're in because um, there's a few things that the previous. Uh, owner of the boat didn't mention to us that we found so far, such as the chain plate and um, a few other things like an oil leak in the uh, the bilge, so. Usually what I like to do is when I get a sailboat, I just take it out and I sail it. We did that in Puerto Rico a few times. Sometimes we snapped and the rigging. And we almost died, if you guys have seen any of that Puerto Rico footage. Um, so we're not going to bury the rails because we have Bianca on board and we have a kayak for a dinghy. So we are not going to push it as hard as we possibly can to see what falls off. We will just do some nice cruising in the ICW and see if we can motor sail a little bit and then we'll go sail in Lake Okeechobee. Show this boy some gators. <laughs> so uh, thank you for coming with us. It's going to be a brand new adventure. Bianca is very excited about a new boat this morning. I woke her up and she got everything ready on the deck and she packed everything away. She's having a her pup right now and uh, it's the first time since we've been sailing in the last two years that she's so anxious to get out and uh, pack everything away. Because so it's her boat. It's her boat. Captain Bianca. Captain Monkey. <laughs> And there's going to be alligators in the UCLA. The UCLA. UCLA. <laughs> what is that called again? The ICW. ICW. UCLA is a college. Oh. <laughs> the ICW. Um, and anyways, there's going to be crocodiles there? Yes. What if I fall in? Well, Don't fall your, in. That's your own problem. I'm falling, my darling. And if I do? If you do, then I will rescue you. Rescue me! Now we'll break me die. in your arms, rescue me! We've got Stefan on the helm, manning the bridge situation. nervous to lose control while waiting for a bridge. I'm not really sure why, it's just something uh, I'm not really confident with idling right in front of a bridge. I don't know why, it's just something that makes me nervous. So fortunately here there's no boats around, it's just us, so it's not that tricky. But um, this boat's new and I'm not really familiar with the throttle, so Stefan is helping me out here. Thank you very much. Lovey. Circus Bridge. 
Bridge, Circus Bridge. This is the captain on board, sailing vessel Moonlight. We're approaching our bridge. Can you open for us, please? Over. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're approaching a bridge called Circus Bridge, and I'm hoping there's going to be some clowns jump off it and with some nice party hats, but it's not happening. It's opening right now. So we are here. We started back there and then came through here. First bridge, Venice Bridge. Second bridge, Venue Avenue Bridge. And now we are approaching Circus Bridge, which is this one. for the day which is the Boca Grande Beach bridge. Swing bridge, swings open and then uh, you go into Boca Grande. Boca Grande is also the place where you want to come in if you want to start going in the ditch towards Lake Okeechobee due east. So there we go. These guys in these towers are really efficient. We've gone through three or four, maybe five bridges now and they're really, really on it. Really good. Thank you!
Right, so I just anchored us off in Pelican Bay. It's beautiful, it's very shallow, it's quite tricky. Yota, come here. We teach you how to pee over the side. <laughs> That's perfect. Seems like we have something beautiful cooking there. The goats are peeing off the side, I think. Oh my god. No, off the side, no. Bianca just peed all over the deck. Oh Put your no! Butt Put your butt out! Good morning, everybody. It is the second day on this new little boat called Moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight! So. We're anchored in this big bay that is very shallow as you guys saw in the last episode coming in and you don't know if you're dragging where you're going to end up. So I didn't sleep much and neither did Aubrey and then it started raining. So we're not going anywhere until it stops because we are not adventurers today. Yeah, it's just going to be a chill day. So we'll take you with us today and show you what it's, look, what it's like to live on a sailboat as a little family when you have about, I don't know, 25 square feet to live in and that's what you got nobody can go anywhere if you piss me off I have to stay He's when you pee I hear disgusting. it when you tell me that the gluten free wraps are disgusting you're standing two seconds away from me okay you guys I'm making some homemade dry with almond flour and it has marmite in it and I'm making these wraps with eggs and ham but my mom doesn't eat ham, so she's just going to have a lot of eggs. I would like some bacon, uh, Chef. What you can do is let the sail go a little bit, let the rope go. Look at your sail and let it go until you look at your sail. Okay, up top. And see when it stops laughing. So play with your sail a little bit. Take it out, take it out a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so we don't like that, right? Yeah. Doesn't look good. Uh -oh. Sit here. Let me give you a lesson in sail trimming. Okay, what you just did is you trimmed the head sail. So what you want to do is you always want to trim your sails from forward to backwards, okay? okay? From bow to stern. So you'll start with your head sail and see that you're happy with it and you'll go to your main sail and if you have one at the back, it's called a mizzen, you'll do that too. So you always start with the sail out and you see it luffing, it's called luffing, mm -hmm. and then you bring it in, bring it in until it looks perfect. And then you tie it. So play with your sails until it looks good, okay? Okay. Good job. Oh, whose boat is this? Mine! Mm -hmm. And I love it and it's all mine. You gonna learn how to sail it? Yep. What are you gonna do when you learn how to sail it? I'm gonna sail it across the world, around the world. When I'm 15, I'm gonna follow mom on the boat. You are? Mm -hmm. That's your plan? I need to clean that. How do you feel about that? Um, scared? I, I feel scared. That. I'll be in a power yacht behind her having margaritas <laughs> and uh, yeah taking photos happy about that if my daughter wants to sail around the world I'll join her for that should we do a, a daddy daughter crew or you want to do it alone should we all chase each other on our boats little miss will get there first I'll be drinking Mai Tais waiting for you guys magic woman baby magic no, woman magic not that, that is girl. the deal little, little miss a little pink lightning I have three sails and a big ass boat. I root for magic. Bigger's not always better. <laughs> That's not what I think. I turned the thing on so it knows that it's raining. Sail your boat. You look like a little wet rat there. Put your hand on your hip. Look proud. <laughs> look proud. So I'm gonna just sit here and have my coffee while my child sails me to destination. I'm <laughs> feeling pretty proud I right now. No, you believe you can sail. I I can it's really sky. nice to see Stefan teaching Bianca sailing. It's very special for me. I'm gonna cry. She wants to sail this boat. So now Bianca's devised this plan where 
Stevan's gonna sail his boat. Magic, I'm gonna sail Little Miss, and she's gonna sail Moonlight. And we're gonna be a caravan of sailing family because either we love each other so much or we can't stand each other. <laughs> we cannot make it to our destination because of a fixed bridge situation. So we're gonna go to starboard side, just heave to and maybe drop a hook here and uh, hide behind this little island called Picnicky. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll take Bianca to uh, go check it out. They're getting the mainsail down and we'll just hang out here for the day. What did you do, Bianca? I tied the rope. Who told you to do that? Me, myself, and I. No. <laughs> mom's getting mom's getting the dinghy cleaned out. Thanks, mom. Uh huh. And I'm getting all the ropes and the boat tidy. Thank you. Tell all the kids what is the pride of somebody's boat. It's the way that it looks, right? Yep. And the way it sails. Well, don't forget that. You can always see what type of people is on the boat by the way that it looks. And so, if it's nice and neat and tidy, it means that they take pride in their in their boat and their sailing ability. Okay. So, if you're nice and neat, it really means a lot. I am nice and neat. Thank you. Bianca is on the boat right now, cleaning the inside of her little boat. She has such pride for this little thing and I'm so excited. This is the best thing. I mean, in all honesty, this is the best thing we could have done for her. She's so excited. She really, like... It's awesome. Like, you know, when we decided to get the boat, Barbara and I decided we should have Bianca buy the boat and we should have it, her name it. She's having a little bit of a tough time with um, deciding whether she wants to be a sailor girl and live on a sailboat and do the YouTube channel and then she sees all the friends at school. It's kind of fun to tell people that we're sailing but then everybody goes gets to go to school and hang out with friends and so she feels a little bit disjointed in that. But now, now she feels so like grounded and she feels like she has a purpose, she has her own little sailboat and it's amazing. The transformation is 180 degrees. I'm so, so I'm stoked. So I'm really happy. proud. There she is. She's even letting us go on a little dinghy ride by ourselves. This is definitely a new thing. Oh, I forgot this is was America. We just were there, people. I forgot. I like. I forgot that this was America. Let's not splash me. something amazing on this channel and this next video we're giving away sun god sunglasses which are some of our favorite sunglasses so make sure to like this video comment below and enter a chance to be the next proud owner of brand new sun god sunglasses they're super cool you can design them yourself you guys see me with sunglasses on all the time sun gods are my favorite so go check out Sun God um, on the internet. It is an amazing product. And we're going to take the comments from this video and the comments from next video and we're going to choose one winner. So make sure, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment as much as you want, and you might get yourself a really beautiful pair of sunglasses. Check you next week. Bye. Mwah.